Hey YouTube, it's Robo13, and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the 3.1.3 firmware on your iPod Touch first generation, second generation non MC model, and the iPhone second gen and the iPhone third gen. Alright, I'm going to show you right here. This is, I just restored my iPod. Go into settings, general, out, scroll down so that I'm running 3.1.3 right there. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to jailbreak it. See, it's just restored. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to first go to this this site. All right, it's in the uh, video description, and you're going to want to download. You're going to want to scroll down to down here, and you're going to find your iPod or iPhone model. So I have the iPhone, or I mean I have the iPod Touch second generation. All right, I'm going to find mine, and you're going to want to download the 3.1.2 firmware okay not 3.1.3 so download the 3.1.2 firmware for any of your models so it has the iPod touch first gen iPhone second gen iPhone 3G iPod touch second gen and then you're going to want to download the 3.1.2 so I'm going to click that okay download that and then I'm going to click download all right and once that's finished downloading then you're good for that and then next you're going to want to download the uh, uh, red snow for your device, all right? So I have Red Snow 9.4. If you have the iPod Touch second gen, you're gonna wanna get the Red Snow 9.4. But if you have the uh, if you have the iPod Touch first gen, or the iPhones first, or second, or I mean, uh, second gen or third gen, you're gonna wanna download the, uh, you're gonna wanna download the Red Snow 9.2, all right? For everything else. The only one that you need 9.4 for is the uh, second generation iPod Touch, the non-MC model, okay? So after you download that, you're gonna wanna extract it and then run it, okay? So here is mine. This is Redstone 9.4 because I'm jailbreaking my iPod Touch second gen, all right? It's gonna bring you to this screen. It's gonna say you're gonna wanna find your current firmware. So this is where you're gonna find the 3.1.2 firmware that you downloaded, all right? Mine's right here, it says iPod second gen 3.1.2 restore all right and you just want to click open and it'll process the firmware sick <clears throat> okay and then this little page is going to pop up i think if you just have the ipod touch second gen it'll say is this an mc model of the ipod touch second gen if you're not sure you can figure that out and then uh so if you have an mc model you can't do this i'm sorry but if you don't have it, you're just gonna click no, which is what I have. So no. Let's see, that is successfully identified. Click next. It's gonna connect to the server. Okay, and then you're gonna do, you're gonna come to the screen. And it'll say install Cydia, custom boot logo, or both boot, all these. So all I need right now is to install Cydia. So you're just going to click on what you want. If you know how to do this other stuff, then go ahead. It's up to you. But for me, I'm just going to click install Cydia. And then I'm going to click next. And then it'll say, make sure your device is both off and plugged into the computer. So I'm going to turn mine off. <coughs> okay. And then it just says, click next, when your device is powered off and plugged in. So next, it says hold down the power button for two seconds, hold down the power and home button, so I'm doing that right now. And it says release the home button, or without releasing the home button, I'm sorry. Release the power button, and once you do that, this will pop up. You should get white screen, and then it'll perform the jailbreak. Okay, so download jailbreak data. <coughs>
And remember, this is only for the iPod Touch 1st Gen, iPod Touch 2nd Gen non-MC version, and the iPhone 2nd Gen and the iPhone 3rd Generation, okay? If you have the iPod Touch 3rd Generation, I'm sorry you can't do this. Just uh, use Black Rain for now. The other devices, just use Black Rain. It's the best, that's the best one you can use for right now. And it, uh, it'll jailbreak the 3.1.2 firmware. And really, 3.1.3 isn't that big. All it is is, uh, I think, a battery update for the uh, iPhone and then just small bug fixes. I mean, I haven't really noticed anything for it. But uh, once you do finish that on the computer, it'll just disappear. And then this will appear on your iPod or iPhone. And then I'll just reboot. Basically what you're doing, the reason you're using 3.1.2 firmware to, uh, to put it back on is to just trick the iPod into thinking it's on 3.1.2, which will let you jailbreak it, but you're really on 3.1.3. So I'll show you that right now. <coughs> Slide unlock. There's Cydia right there. Okay, I'm just going to go into settings, show you that I'm on 3.1.3. Okay, and there you go, 3.1.3, jailbroken firmware on my iPod Touch 2nd Gen. Alright, I'll even show you that it works. I got to do all that, but it works. So then, then you're done. If you have any questions, just send me a message or post a comment. Uh, this is Robo13. Thanks, guys.